Um, hello, so today we are going to do problems from week, bi-weekly contest 134. The first problem is alternating groups. So basically with this problem we have a circle of red and blue tiles. Um, so something like this pretty much, red and blue. Um, and we get the, an array of integers representing the colors in this circle. Okay. Um, so the color, the value of the color um, is basically in this array. So if it's zero, it means it's red. If it's one, it means it's it's blue. Um, and we are looking for three contiguous tiles in this circle uh, where we have alternating colors. So one example is this one where we have um, red and then blue and then red. So alternating. So basically something like zero, one, zero means Alternating. This is not alternating because it means we have two consecutive uh, blues um, or two consecutive reds, right? Um, and the goal is to return the number, the total number of alternating groups. Okay. Um, now it's represented as a circle because so that we can count the last element of the array with the first one or with the first two, right? So, for example, if we take a look at the array here, right, this 0, 1, 0 is a valid alternating group because it's circular, right? So, um, that means this one. This one is a valid alternating group, okay? So, if we take a look at the first example, we have 0 because they are all blue. Um, if we take a look at the second one, we have, first, we have this one alternating, because we have red, blue, and red. Um, and then we have this one, because we have red, blue, and red, so alternating. Um, and this one works because, remember, because we can, because it's circular, because we can join the last two elements with the first one. Um, is there any other one? Well, yes, because this one blue, and then red, and then blue. So it alternates. There are no consecutive of this two of the same colors that are consecutive among these three elements, right? We have blue, red, and then blue. Um, but that's it. Like you can't have this one and this one and this one because then these are, these two are the same color. So we only have three, and so we return three. So that's the idea. Now, if you also take a look at the constraint, it's very small, one hundred. So that tells you you can just traverse the array, right? But in a circular way and just check. So for each position, basically, we can just check the next one and the one after that and just check if they are alternating. But we have to be careful. When we reach the end, we would have to check this one with these two, but we also need to check these two with this one, right? But then anything else, it's the same. We already checked it, okay? So that's what we need to do here. So what we can do is we, we of course, need something to return. This is the number of alternating groups, so that's what we return here. Um, and we can just go through the array. So let's just have n be um, the length of the array of colors. Um, and so what are the two positions that we need to check? Well, we need to check i plus 1. We need to check i plus 2. So that which i, i plus 1, i plus 2, the two positions in front. But what if we reach n here? What if i is equal to n minus 1? Now, in that case, that's exactly this case where it's this position. In that case, we want to check against this one and against this one. So how do we do that? Well, we can just do i plus 1, and that will give you n. But if we do modulo n, that will give us position 0. So modulo will give us exactly what we want. So we want to do modulo in case i is at the, the last position. We do modulo n so that we can get the circular go back to 0. Same thing for if we are here i is here, uh, when we do i plus 2, that would be n plus 1. So we do modulo n so that we get position 1. Okay? Um, and so that way we can, we have this one with these two. Um, and so we do modulo n here as well. Okay? And now we just compare these two. Now we need them to be alternating, which means at position, so they are like this. We have position i, j, and then position k. Now, to be alternating, we need this one to be different than this one. 
and then we need this one j position j to be different than k we don't uh, what it's what's important is to have to not have any consecutive element with the same color right but i can have the same color as k we don't really um, th th that's fine um, and so as long as each consecutive ones are different we should be good and that's what we can, can check for here now if that's the case we can just increment count by one okay um, and we stop i at n minus one because um, we only the last one we want to check is just this one with this and these two this here we already checked it at the beginning when i was equal to zero okay so now if we run this looks good if we submit it passes um in terms of time complexity this is uh of one of of and time um okay so another way to do this actually is we can add colors to the end uh, basically add the same array to the end that way we make it circular this is a good trick to just get into the habit of doing um, and so for example if we take this second example um, we we just add it to the end okay but we still stop at n which is the original lists length so that when when i is here at the end i plus one and i plus two are valid indices here and here that way we do the same thing as we did earlier where i was here and because of the modulo we had j here and k here now this is the same because this is the same list added to the end so j and k here and i is here okay but this works because this works because um uh because we will stop at n okay at this position for i okay so in that case when we do that we no longer need to do modulo this can still be like this and i k can be just uh, i plus two so um if we run this uh, so this needs to be of course plus one and we can run this and submit and it gets accepted now this is pretty simple assignment so we can just replace it here just so that it's simpler um, and this should pass as well so if we run this it should work um, submit and it does pass okay so pretty straightforward implementation here um, yeah so that's pretty much it for this problem thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye